again, 21 points, 10 rebounds. You had a, a, a struggle from R.J. Barrett, but guys like Evan Fournier stepped up. A new Nick, 18 points, 12 for Derrick Rose off the bench. Emmanuel quickly overcame his shooting struggles from the other night. He had 16 points tonight. The Knicks held the Magic under 39% shooting, and they forced 20. They forced 19 turnovers, which resulted in 22 points. Where, where are the Knicks right now, B-Wood? Are, are, where are, in terms of our expectations after they're really stunning us last year? Well, I think la last year they let us know that they're a playoff team. And so we know that they're a playoff team. Now the question is, are they the type of playoff team that can win more than one series? Mm -hmm. Because I like what they're doing offensively. I think they're definitely going to make the playoffs this year. But now I'm looking to see, can you win one? Can you win? Can you knock off one of the big boys up top that we think that you're going to have to go through? That's what I'm waiting to see from the New York Knicks. But they're definitely a playoff team in my eyes. Or the question is, are they a big boy? Because, you know, as good as last year was, this roster, if they stay healthy, is infinitely better. You know, their, their issue last year is they couldn't score. And it, it really played itself out in the postseason. This group, you know, you got Kimba and, and, and Fournier's been really good. The way they can shoot it, the spacing's so much better for them right now. You know, they had 134 in the first game. They come out tonight, they put up 121. Like, they are, they're scoring it. Their defense is still for the most part, been pretty good like it was tonight. They got after they're getting deflections, they're getting steals, they're getting depth. Obi Toppin is much improved. You right. know, he dealt with injuries all last year. He, he's looking really good coming off that bench. Alec Burks, who was terrific for him last year. Like, they got depth. They got versatile lineups that, that Tom uh, Tibbs can put out there. So this is a team that, again, we talked about it when you look at that Eastern Conference. Outside of Milwaukee, there's more uncertainty when you look at Brooklyn and Philadelphia and teams like Atlanta and, and I would even say this New York team, they could find themselves in a situation where they can make a lot of noise in the postseason, but it's all going to come down to their health. They, they got yes. a roster that, you know, guys have been known to be a little fragile. Yes. And if they can hold those guys together over the course of the season and, and go into that postseason healthy, man, this could be a, a, an interesting team. Well, to double down on your point here, the stat that has to have Nick fans ecstatic is that over their first two games, the Knicks have made 41 threes, Oof. including tonight a franchise record 24 threes. That truly was their issue. You got into the playoffs. Yes, we all want to think defense wins championships. Listen, I, I, I love the defense the Knicks play, but in the playoffs, you, you've got to be able to have somebody that could score late in the game and more than one option in the playoffs. You definitely do. I mean, we, we love good defense, and defense definitely wins, but when you look at the playoffs, you got to have that one guy that you can give the ball to and say, hey, big fella, times are tough. Go win it for us.